Welcome to my lab, Steve. This is the uh, so uh, 3D 3A lab, 3D audio and applied acoustics lab at Princeton University. My name is Edgar Schwery. Uh, in this lab, I do uh, research on spatial audio with my team of uh, researchers, mm -hmm. whom I uh, will introduce you to later on. Um, we are going to start with a measurement of your own HRTF. HRTF stands for Head Related Transfer Function, and it's an important um, a property of everybody's head acoustic property, how your head interacts with sound waves from around you. We are standing, and I'll explain it a little bit more in, in a minute, but just to explain where we are, we are in a small anechoic chamber. It's called anechoic because there's no echo, meaning the sound is absorbed by the walls. And the walls are covered by the special foam wedges. The sound gets, uh, when it hits the, uh, the walls, it gets absorbed by going inside these wedges. and. Uh, this is why it's kind of eerie feeling of mm. a sound not, and there's no reverb, there's no reverb at all. Everything is coming directly to your ears from my, from my mouth. So it's, a, it's kind of an eerie uh, acoustic environment because we use and expect reverberation from around us. However, it's very good for measurements. Mm. Uh, so we use an echoic chamber a lot for, uh, for research. Uh, a lot of 3D audio, a lot of spatial audio, which is the, um, the goal of it is to get spatial images correctly in you know uh, reproduced correctly in 3d uh, require what to know something about the listener's head right so a lot of technologies that are coming out and that have come out recently will rely on hrtf um, an hrtf is like a fingerprint everybody has a unique hrtf mm -hmm. uh, this because we all have unique heads unless if you have a perfect twin uh, a, 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 we all have different pinna if you look at the ridges in your pinna, um, they are different than mine. Okay, to measure the HRTF, we have to use these special microphones that go inside your ears like earphones. Mm -hmm. uh, these are called Bach PMs. They are produced by a company called Theoretical Applied Physics, which is a company that's um, uh, spin off from this lab. Mm -hmm. um, it's a private company. But um, we make these uh, microphones, and the lab uses them for, for uh, measurements. And they are very special because they go inside your ear and they're very accurate and they're very low noise. Uh, they are scientific grade microphones that can also be used for recording classical music. So, uh, first thing you're going to do is calibrate the mics. Uh, the microphones are designed to quickly go into this and that you wear them pretty much like you would wear a uh, earphones. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to ask you to sit in the seat. This seat, just to explain, is sitting on a very special turntable. That's not a turntable for records. It's a turntable that's strong enough to turn a truck. Um, so if you sit on it, we're going to close the door. And for about, uh, this is a new, a new way of taking the HRTF that instead of spending, spending two hours me measuring your head acoustically, mm -hmm. we can do it for ten, in 10 minutes. So we're going to lock you up here for 10 minutes. Excellent. Uh, it's not going to be most entertaining, but you're going to hear strange tones coming out of these speakers. As you see, there's an arch of speakers here that cover a um, uh, half a circle. Now, we can either move the speakers around you to measure the HRTF from, around, from all around uh, 360 degrees. Or, in this case, we're going to leave the arc here and just move, rotate you. So you okay. physically are going to rotate. Okay. So if you can sit down here, please. Put the red microphone in your right ear. Make sure it's um, plugging your ear canal. And then uh, uh, recline your back. Yeah, just just touch like this. So so relax. So that will remind you, you know, that your head is fixed. And then what's going to happen? For 10 minutes, you're going to hear sweeps and chirps, and then slowly the table is going to turn. Once you does a full turn, we'll tell you the whole thing is over. So now we're going to do just a little demo of what's going to happen during the measurement. Uh, go ahead, Raul. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> You see what happens? Every five degrees, you're moving. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the delta, uh, theta? Five degrees. Five degrees, okay. Yeah, that's Good. It. So now we're going to reset him to zero. Yeah. And we're going to lock him up. 
We'll check on you in 10 minutes. This is actually very similar in some respects to how John Atkinson measures loudspeakers. Yes, home. yes. To measure, by the way, we measure radiation loudspeakers in on mm -hmm. this turntable, and I'll show you. We have a whole database of uh, loudspeakers. Mm -hmm. We've done a lot of work on loudspeaker radiation. Uh, it's very important for spatial audio, actually, uh, when, when you use loudspeakers to know how they radiate. Great, so now we, you're all set. I will set you up. You're going to start from here, and the table uh, uh, will undergo a full 360 degree turn. Relax for about 10 minutes. I'm going to lock up. And Joe is operating the uh, measurement here. This is the control for the whole thing. Uh, these are the signals from the mics. And uh, this is the controller for the turntable. So, uh, ready? Are you ready? ready? Wait, go ahead. Okay. And it's going to take about 10 minutes. <laughs> All right, the measurements are done. We're going to release the victim. <laughs> So we take this. And we'll go see. Hello, uh, I'm Rahul. I'm a grad student in the 3 3 a lab. Um, so we just made Steve's um, HRTF measurements in the anechoic chamber. And the way we did that is we used this custom made software in our lab. And so we just input some parameters, basically an azimuth spacing, um, which is specified in these blocks and then we hit this button which says measure sweeps and then the software is completely automated and what it does is it um, it sends uh, sign sweeps through nine speakers in the antiquated chamber um, and since Steve is wearing microphones in his ears in his ears the sweeps are picked up at the microphones um, and then all that information is uh, recorded right on the computer and the recorded information is then mathematically processed. We deconvolve the sweeps that are measured at the microphones with the sweeps that we send to the speakers, and that gives us head-related impulse responses for the nine speaker positions. And for, and for me, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Yeah. For me, it's a really fun experience um, because I'm sitting, I'm seated on a throne atop a turntable, and the turntable itself is moving in increments of five degrees yeah. for an entire 360-degree yeah. uh, uh, segment. Mm -hmm. So at each interval of five degrees, a sweep is playing, and I hear it through my ears. It's recording that through the microphones, yep. and we're analyzing the data here. Exactly. Similar to the way that John Atkinson does some of his measurements for loudspeakers. So I was the ma I was the loudspeaker in this instance. <coughs> so Super yeah, that, fun. That's essentially, <laughs> that's essentially what happens, and, and the software takes care of everything. It takes care of uh, the timing in terms of when Steve needs to be rotated. Um, and it takes care of sending the signals to the loudspeakers in a sequential manner. So in that sense, I think it's committed. If you ever need a guinea pig, I always volunteer. Oh, yeah, sounds good. I, I'm ho I hope that I'm a good uh, research subject. Of course, <laughs> I don't doubt it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay.